Now, Selena Gomez in the Scene is a band consisting of lead vocalist Selena Gomez, bassist Joey Clement, drummer Greg Garman, keyboardist Dane Forrest, and guitarist Drew Taubenfeld. The band was active from 2008 till 2012, and during this time they released three studio albums, 2009's Kiss and Tell, 2010's A Year Without Rain, and 2011's When the Sun Goes Down, which is by far the band's best album, in my opinion at least. Anyways, today I'm going to be listing my top 10 favorite songs by Selena Gomez and The Scene. So, without further ado, let's get started. I can stop my feet from dancing to the sound of his drum. Rock God is such an interesting song. It's actually co-written by Katy Perry, and the song does discuss some religious themes, but overall the song is a standout and I love the melody. Spotlight is probably the most overproduced song that this band has ever had, but I still love it. It's basically about how everybody deserves a spotlight or a moment to shine. And this might just be me, but every time I listen to the song, I feel like I'm at a quinceanera. Outlaw is probably my most played non-single by this band. It's basically about someone who keeps their heart guarded and runs away from love. I love how different this song is thematically but also sonically. I can definitely hear the western influence on this track, and I love the little yodel thing Selena does with her voice when she sings the word outlaw. Here's my dilemma, one half of me wants ya, and the other half wants to forget. My Dilemma is the one album track that I felt could have been a single. I feel like it was definitely a missed opportunity. This song is very catchy and it's basically about how you're with someone and you love them, but at the same time you're trying to find every reason not to be with them. Yeah, I know it's confusing. Round and Round is a cute song. It's basically about being caught up in a toxic relationship and you want to get out of it but you just keep going round and round. The music video for this song is one of the very few by this band that I feel has an actual plot. Also this is the lead single from the band's second album and I see why. It's definitely lead single worthy. Hit the lights, let the music move you Hit the Lights is such a relatable song. It's basically about everything you missed out on because you're too scared to take any chances. But the song isn't sad, it's actually pretty inspirational and optimistic. It feels like a fresh start. Anyways, this song is also the band's last ever single, which is sad, but it was an excellent way to end things. What an anthem. Who Says is easily the best lead single the band has ever had. It's such a powerful song and there's so much meaning behind every lyric. It's basically about ignoring the people who keep telling you that you're never going to be good enough and you'll never amount to anything. Also, I love how heavily acoustic this song is because it just sounds better to me than a lot of the busy overproduction in some of this band's songs. Like this next one. I'm missing you so much, can't help it, I'm in love. Oh my gosh, this band knows how to make beautiful music. Now, A Year Without Rain is basically a song about how you love someone so much that a day without them feels like a year without rain. This song is also the only song by the band that's featured in Wizards of Waverly Place, which makes it even more special. And although I do really love this song, I would have liked to have heard an acoustic version because I think that this song, and actually most of the songs on this album are heavily overproduced. I really wish there was an acoustic version of this album. And I want you to know, baby I, I love you like a love song, baby I, I love you like a love song, baby I understand why this song is the most popular song the band has ever made. Love You Like a Love Song is a timeless track. It talks about being in love with someone, which is something everyone can relate to. And this song is just so majestic. I love the music video, and oh my gosh, this song gives me so much nostalgia. Okay, now it's time to move on to my honorable mentions. Come back, 
Of course this song was going to be number one. Naturally just has something about it that no other song by this band has. It's so infectious and beautiful and it has this big dance vibe. It has always been my favorite song by the band and if you love this song as much as I do, I highly recommend listening to the Dave Auday remix. It's incredible. I'll probably link it down below or something. Anyways, that's it for my video. I really wish I could have put Tell Me Something I Don't Know on this list, but that's technically just a Selena Gomez song. Anyways, please like, subscribe, and comment down below, and thank you so much for watching.